Hey, this is M from The 33 Secrets, and the new secret training video that you're about to watch is on the topic of spinning attraction versus achieving your polarity as a man. And it's a great video. Uh, there's a lot of value that you're gonna be able to take away from it. Uh, there are a ton of valuable nuggets in this training video. Um, however, one caveat, I accidentally left the image stabilization on which basically means that the lens is constantly trying to focus in on my face throughout the video. I actually shot it on uh, a new camera phone I just got, a Sony Xperia, and I didn't realize by default uh, they leave the image stabilization on. So, sorry. And normally I would not release the video this way, um, but after showing it to a few students, they were like, no, you have to release this video. You have to. Uh, either way, Without further ado, here it is. So enjoy it and take as much value as you can away from it. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, this is M from The 33 Secrets. And I just want to do a quick video uh, on the topic of spinning attraction versus achieving polarity, okay? And I wanted to get this out uh, while it was still fresh in my head. Uh, so kind of out here in, uh, somewhere in Los Angeles, but found a place with light where I could actually shoot this video. So, now when you notice, most guys, most guys who are still new to uh, dating education, who are still new to pickup, so to speak, you'll notice that they are primarily trying to spin attraction with a girl, okay? So say they approach a girl, say they, you know, want to try to pick her up, uh, their game is mostly mostly revolves around uh, what I call spinning attraction where you go up to the girl and you're like hey what's up you know and you spin her around and you kind of do all this uh, all this stuff that you learn in the pickup community all of which is good okay I mean I still do it myself sometimes I still spin attraction I think it's fun um, however when you get to a more advanced level you won't be you won't need to spin attraction so much as to just be comfortable in your own polarity as a man okay they call it masculine polarity and you'll notice with in some of my training videos where um, I'm kind of doing an imitation of how I approach and I'll, I'll usually have I can't hold my phone right now because I, so I can't show you but um, I'll usually have my arms folded and I'll just put my head back tilt my head back and I'll look at the girl and sometimes I'll speak sometimes I won't and students are always amazed when they see it work and they can't believe the girl is like getting attracted and they're wondering how I'm doing that when they're having to do all this work to get the girl to respond. They're, they're, they're having to be that uh, dancing monkey boy where uh, I don't really need to do that and I don't care to do it and I don't want to do it uh, because, how can I say this? Uh, you will get to a point in game, you will get to a, a level in game where if you do this long enough, you will achieve what I call polarity, okay, as a man, masculine polarity, where you can walk up to the girl and you could just cross your arms like I teach you, tilt your head back, and just scream the crap out of her. And just by sitting back and doing this, she will become attracted to you. Now, how is that possible? Uh, that's possible because you will be in your uh, polarity as a man, which means you will be grounded in your own energy and you will be centered, okay, as a man. Where a lot of guys, believe it or not, I would say most guys are not centered at all. Most guys, it's so rare, so rare that I meet a guy who's actually cent centered within himself. Uh, the last guy I met who was centered within, within himself was another pickup instructor who was really good at this and who was doing this for many many years he's the he's the last guy that i saw that was like this and uh, i didn't know him personally i happened to run into him while i was taking some students out apparently he was out with some students of his own and we both kind of recognized each other a bit i think i recognized him first and kind of had a brief conversation and I, I could feel that his polarity was there and I was like, this guy is centered within himself. And um, 
yeah, real big props to him for, uh, you know, for any guy who achieves that polarity. And I did see him approach that night. He saw me approach where it was, it was kind of like uh, uh, a student kind of put it to me. He's the one who told me this. He was like, you know, he was telling me, have you ever seen Terminator 2 Judgment Day? And I'm like, yeah, I remember that movie. And he's all, there's a scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's in the very beginning of the movie, but the Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he meets, uh, he, he meets, uh, I guess it was Robert Patrick who played the liquid Terminator. And then they both kind of like were trying to grab this gun from one another and they couldn't do it because they both realized they had the same strength. Uh, so anyway, he likened it to that, likened it to that, uh, me and this other pickup instructor being in the same venue. So I uh, thought that was flattering. But in any case, uh, so yeah, so the two types of attraction, the two types of ways to attract uh, a very hot girl, very attractive girl, very beautiful woman, eight, nine, or 10, the two ways are spinning attraction and the more advanced way is through polarity, okay? And as I've said, if you do this long enough, you will come into your own as a man and you will achieve that polarity that I'm talking about, which is super, super powerful. Yeah, it's like a weird Jedi power. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to say it, but the two types of ways to attract a beautiful girl are through spinning attraction and polarity. And as I said, most guys, okay, most guys, uh, especially the newer guys, and a lot of the intermediate guys as well, whether they're successful or not, you know, when they're successful with attracting a hot girl, you'll notice that they're doing it uh, through spinning attraction, okay? Uh, they, it's almost like they realize that women are just uh, super responsive to a fun, happy guy. So they kind of use that to their advantage. And that's something, if you go out enough, you'll, you'll come to realize very quickly is that hot women are just responsive to happy, fun guys. Guys who aren't like, you know, mean mugging in the club and looking for somebody to fight and trying to do all that other nonsense or trying to impress her or whatever, where he's just focused on amping her state, making her feel good, having fun with her, uh, all the things I teach you. Uh, but, but the guys who uh, reach a more advanced level kind of get beyond that spinning attraction where they are more doing it, again, from that place of centeredness as a man, where you're grounded in your own energy, you're just present, okay, nothing can stifle you, nothing, you're not reacting to anything going on around you, you're just very, very centered. And believe me, these girls can feel that, okay? Uh, that's where I have to give uh, women a lot of credit, especially attractive women. They can, they could, they're just very intuitive and they can feel when you are present as a man, when you are centered as a man, when you are grounded in your own energy and they can't shake you. It's almost like being like a tree. They can't, you know, or a brick wall. They can't push you. You know, they can't make you move in the direction they want you to because you move in the direction that you want to because you're very grounded in your own energy. Whereas most guys, like I said, probably like 90, I want to say 99%, and I hate, I hate to use that term, but it's true. 99% of guys are not grounded in their own energy and they're constantly, constantly looking to do things when they approach a girl. They're constantly looking to do things that they're hoping that she will like, as opposed to just doing them because they like to do those things. So they're, they're usually approaching with a lot of filters, you know, and they're not, uh, they're not acting through their own intentions. They're not, you know, conversating the, with her the way they would normally conversate. So they're very much uh, getting pulled into her reality. So when they approach, they're more concerned in their head about fitting into her reality than they are about actually pulling her into their reality, you know? So, so when you reach that more advanced level and how do, you know, and you achieve polarity, you won't be so focused on spinning attraction. And even if you do want to spin attraction sometimes just for fun, like some, you know, I'll do it a lot of times. If I'm feeling, if I'm feeling like spinning attraction, I'll spin attraction. If I'm feeling like just being grounded in my own energy and just emanating that uh, polarity, then I'll do that. So I'm going to do what, what feels right for me 
and what feels right at that moment that I'm approaching her. So, um, but it's 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 really key to have both. Okay, I mean, obviously not obviously not everybody wants to be a you know a, a, a twenty year veteran of a pickup like I do. You know, some guys just want to uh, achieve enough games so they could go out there and get the girl that they want, and and then and then some and have some options as well and then have like a selection of uh, hot women to choose from to, to date or potentially marry okay so a lot of guys are just looking for that much gain you know you don't have to take it to like this ridiculous level that uh, you know <laughs> that I'm constantly striving to take it to uh, but uh, then, again, then again that's what I do for a living this is this is my job now so I try to be the best I can at it but most students are looking to, you know, and that's another thing is most students can't like leave their job and dedicate their lives to doing this. So, you know, <laughs> there's only so much time in the day. I mean, I do this 24 seven. I eat, sleep, I eat and sleep pick up. All right, so, so how, do you achieve, how do you achieve polarity? You achieve polarity by being on your path as a man. That's number one. You achieve polarity by not being reactive, okay? You achieve polarity by uh, not living your life around what others expect you to. So not basing your, not basing your, uh, your self-worth off of the opinions of others. I mean, basically all the things that I teach you, all the things I teach you about in the 33 Secrets. And, and, and just doing things on your terms, okay? And not really needing to look to the outside world to give you answers for how you should be or who you should be or, you know, how you should dress, what kind of music you should listen to. And it's really, really sad that uh, most people don't look, most people rather look to the outside world first before they look to themselves. You know what I mean? Most people rather look to what others are doing before they trust themselves. So they'll like look to everybody else to see what everyone's wearing, to see how everyone's acting, before they give themselves permission to, you know, act in a certain way. I mean, when they're looking around, they're looking at other people, how they're acting, and how they're how they're dressing and how they're looking. They don't even they don't even ask themselves like do I even like this they just immediately start copying that person even though it might, might not even be right for them you know so so that's the sad thing it's like most guys have not achieved polarity because they're still basing their self-worth off of what others are thinking of them you know and uh, I had a student who emailed me <laughs> I've had a few students who emailed me asking me like how do I tool another guy like if I, they're out and some guys like messing with them, they want to know how do I tool him back. I tell them, you know what, the best way to tool another guy who's trying to uh, get you to react is to not react. That's the best way to tool him. Now, obviously, when you don't react, he's going to start questioning what he's doing, and you're gonna your values. He's gonna quickly realize that your value is higher than his. Basically, that you're cooler than him because he can't get you to react. And at that moment, you will be in a position to counter punch, okay? Which means you'll be in a position to, to hit him with something that will really affect his ego. And most guys in that position, when, you, when, you, when you're able to achieve that uh, non-reactiveness to uh, society and you know, a-holes out there and especially guys who are trying to tool you, when you're able to achieve that, you know, you would think that you would want it. You can't wait to tool people back and get back at them. But once you actually achieve that power, you won't even care to tool the guy because inside you'll, a lot of you will feel sorry for him. You'll actually feel empathy for him. You know, and I've talked about this before. Like I've been in situations where, you know, another guy might've tried to tool me and I didn't react. And then he, yeah, I was in a uh, position to uh, completely destroy him if I wanted to. And, uh, you know, a lot of times I don't, you know, um, and if I do, 
it might just be because I feel like being a dick. <laughs> In any case, um, so those are the two types of ways to attract a girl is through spinning attraction and polarity. And when you're brand new to this, you are going to rely heavily on spinning attraction. And if you're completely new to this, you probably don't know how to spin attraction yet, which is why you need to go out and you need to get these, uh, these what I call reference experiences, talking to these girls, being in set with them, uh, getting used to conversating with very hot women where you're not like feeling all flustered inside because you can't even spin attraction if you're just too busy being nervous or you're too busy being afraid she's gonna reject you. Okay, so when you get to a level where you're not, you're not worried anymore if she's gonna reject you. You're not worried if, if uh, you know, you're not worried about uh, seeking her approval and you're able to talk to her without getting nervous. At that point, you'll be able to spin attraction. You'll be able to do things to amplify your own state, as I often say, um, for your own amusement and not her approval. Uh, and you'll be able to kind of like mess with her, tease her, push pull her, a lot of the old basics of the pickup community. Uh, you'll be able to spin attraction real quick and the girl will get attracted to you okay she will get attracted to you and you will do this for a while okay i spent many years spinning attraction before i reached polarity i mean i had no polarity but i was able to spin attraction like crazy you know i had no polarity but i was able to spin attraction with a lot of hot women and i was able to uh you know make them my girlfriends uh, sleep with them, uh, you know, and, and pretty much have the power in the relationship because I was good at spinning attraction. However, once I reached polarity, it, it was like a whole new level of game, okay? Whole new level of game. And this is one thing I should mention too, now that I mentioned relationships, is most guys who can spin attraction, generally, they could spin attraction when they first meet the girl, but once they get into a relationship with her the girl the power it's almost like the power shifts okay? and the girl gets the power and because and and she, she and she generally ends up either cheating on him uh, or leaving him or both okay because after being in a relationship with him usually you know within a few weeks to a few months she'll quickly realize like, yeah, this guy was funny when I met him. He was cool when I met him. But, you know, I don't know what happened to that guy I met. He's a complete wuss now because he's with her. You know, and that's something that guys who, even if you can spin attraction, if you have not yet achieved your polarity as a man, if you get in a relationship with this girl, you know, you were able to get this hot chick because you were able to spin attraction. Once you're in a relationship with her, a lot of these guys are freaked out that they're gonna lose a girl and many times they do because they haven't achieved their polarity as a man so what happens the girl ends up cheating on him the girl ends up um, you know leaving him or both like I said so uh, this is why it's really really important to achieve your polarity as a man you know whether you're doing pickup or not but obviously this is a this is a pickup channel this is what I teach guys dating advice so uh, this is why I tell you it is so 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 critical to achieve your uh, polarity as a man um, so you want to learn how to spin attraction it's number one you gotta, you gotta learn how to get girls uh, get their uh, emotions amped up you have to learn how to uh, approach them without being nervous without being shy uh, without trying to do like the perfect approach and constantly worrying that what you say isn't good enough for her um, you got to get over all that in order to be able to walk up to her just solid and just you know being amused and wanting to share that fun with her you know what I mean and and amp up her emotions so now you can both have fun and you can spin her around you can do little dances with her like I like to do and you'll see me do that from time to time if you ever see me in a, in a set and you'll be like oh shoot he's spinning attraction see so yeah, exactly what I'm doing I'm just spinning attraction because I want to have fun you know, and I want to have a, I want to have fun with a girl. But then there will be other times where maybe I don't want to spin attraction. Maybe I want to just be grounded in my own energy and and attract her that way. And that's that's where you'll see me just lay back, sit back, cross my cross my arms and tilt my head and start screening.
And incidentally, when I am spinning a traction, uh, just because I'm not sitting there like this, when I'm spinning a traction, I am still screening. You know, I could be spinning girl around, doing little dances with her, and I'm screening the crap out of her. I'm looking into her eyes, I'm kind of just seeing the way she moves, I'm seeing the way she responds to me. Um, I'm watching her language. Uh, that's another big thing with me. So, I mean, I, this is going to be, I'm not going to get into that topic, but that's a whole new video, a whole different video. But um, part of my, part of my value system is I don't like girls who, um, who have like sailor mouths where they like every word, every sentence is a, is a curse word. Every sentence is a four letter word. However, when I was younger, I used to curse my ass off, and I, I couldn't get through a sentence without saying at least like two or three curse words when I was younger. So obviously, I attracted girls like that, because as I say, you, uh, you attract who you are. You attract what you are, you know? Uh, but then as I got older, I'm like, you know what? I don't like chicks who curse so much. I mean, it's kind of trashy. It's like girls who smoke. I'm not into girls who smoke, I'm not into girls who curse, because to me, it's kind of trashy. However, you might being a girls who smoke, girls who curse. You know, I don't know why, but you might that might be your type. You know, and uh, or you might be in that place in life that I was 10 years ago where I was cursing all the time. And I like that in a chick. And to me, I was like, hey, a girl who can curse is more real. You know, or at least that's what I told myself. Um, but as I dated other girls, I got to date some girls who weren't like that, who didn't curse and uh, who didn't smoke and uh, and I realized, like, you know what? My values align with this chick way more. And I noticed more girls I dated like that. I was like, hey, our values align way more. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start investing my time and energy into more, into more of these kind of girls and less of those kind of girls. You know, so that's something you'll get to too. You'll have, uh, you'll have options as you get better at, uh, at doing this. You'll have options. You won't be in that like scarcity. I have to pick that one girl from my small social circle that everybody wants, you know, who's not even cute. The one that uh, most of your guy friends uh, that you grew up with end up marrying, you won't have to do that because you'll be able to go out there and spin some attraction and, uh, and use your polarity to attract a lot of women. And you won't be picking your, you know, dating partners or even your wife out of uh, scarcity, but abundance, you know? And that's why you want to learn this stuff. That's why you want to learn how to do this stuff. And that's why you want to, uh, uh, constantly be applying what I teach you because I mean it's super valuable. I've been doing this pretty much all my adult life and I'm, I'm giving you like the keys to the magic kingdom for what to do to attract not only hot women out there but the women that you want. Okay, because that's real easy. I mean if you just want to attract hot women, you can get on any pickup channel you want. You don't even have to be on mine. If you want to just attract hot women and have sex, you know what? 99% of the, the dating and pickup channels out there that's all they're about, you know? Go out there and have as much sex as possible. Um, and all they're gonna teach you how to do is spin attraction. Because that's really all you need to do to get laid is, to, that's all you need to do to get laid is spin attraction, okay? Um, but in order to get the girl that you want and in order to keep her, you have to be, you have to achieve your polarity as a man. You have to achieve that masculine polarity where you are just like I said, grounded in your own energy, okay? You are centered in your power as a man, and you're just non-reactive to all the BS that's going on out there, okay? You just gotta be non-reactive. Because a guy who gets a hot girl, you know, and I've been in so many of these situations, you date a hot girl, you date a beautiful girl, especially, like if she's a, if she's like anywhere close to a 10, you know, eight, eights, nines, and tens, but for, for the ones that I'm thinking of, the ones that I've dated that were like nines and tens, you're gonna get tested, okay? You're gonna get tested by other guys. You know, you're gonna get tested by douchebags. You're gonna get tested by AMOGs, which stands for alpha male other guy. You're gonna get tested by uh, all those haters sitting in her friend zone. You're gonna get you're gonna get just tested by just random people on the street who are like, what is he doing to that girl? What is he doing with her, you know? And they're wishing it was them. They're wishing like, why isn't it me with her? And so they're gonna hate on you, of course. They're gonna hate on you. But part of achieving your polarity is you don't react to that. You know, you can't imagine like how many how many times I like, like take out one of the girls that I've been seeing, you know, 
for a long time now that I met through a cold approach pickup that I picked up uh, using my skills and just the number of guys that just hate. I, I just went to dinner um, two nights ago with a girl that I met through cold approach pickup uh, probably just two weeks, two weeks earlier. So we went to dinner the other night and we're at some we're at some restaurant and then there's a small bar in the restaurant okay it's a place called elephant bar i don't know if you know if you're familiar with it's called elephant bar and uh so we got a, we the only table that was open was like the one right next to the bar so obviously it's friday night you know you got like massive douchebags at the bar and me and her are having dinner and it's a first date by the way i you know well not a first date because we did go on a few little um like coffee dates so to speak so and that's another thing I teach you is not to go to dinner on the very first date but this was our, our very first official date put it that way uh, but we're here in this place and I got up to go to the, well the whole time I'm there these you know these these scrubs at the bar are all checking her out and stuff like that and um, I got up to go to the bathroom and while I go to the bathroom you know I'm probably in there like less than two minutes I come out these guys are hitting on her these guys are hitting on her. <laughs> now, what would most guys do under that situation, right? They would run back there, start mean mugging, start looking at dudes like, what's up? What's up? Douchey's with me. You know, start doing all that. And I've been there because I used to do that. Uh, nowadays, I don't react. I just went. I looked at him, gave a nice smile. And then I sat down and I kept eating and they didn't do anything. They just kept sipping their beers. They turned around and they were like, oh, okay. But had I reacted, guess what? They would have reacted because, you know, guys who do that are looking for any excuse uh, to mess with you. They're looking for any, any reason to just like get, get a reaction out of you. So it will give them kind of permission to, to push forward and like start, start something with you, you know? And, uh, and I can fight, so that's not a problem. <laughs> you know, I did martial arts all throughout my years growing up. And I've been in a number of tournaments, been in a number of uh, street fights when I was younger. I used to fight a lot. And you know, some girls, some girls might like that violence and stuff. But again, where I'm at in this stage of my life, in this stage of my dating career, um, I'm just trying to date as many hot women as possible. I'm trying to teach as many guys as possible. Uh, I don't have time to fight. Um, I don't have time to like go to court because some guy lost his teeth that I had to crack. You know, I don't have time to deal with the just the the BS of life. I just, you know, like I teach you guys, you, you need to focus your RAS, your reticular activating system, on what you want to get done in this life because you're not going to be here forever. You know, you're not going to live forever. Uh, you only have a very short time on this earth, and uh, I'm a big believer in making the most of it. Uh, this is why I don't react to situations like that anymore. Um, I don't react to like things that are super petty, like in traffic, some dude cuts you off, or you know, you see these people at the stoplights just riding their horn, like, Gee! you know, trying to let the other guy know that how angry they are. Uh, I don't get caught up in that stuff anymore. And I think there's a great saying too. I don't know who said it, but they said something like, "You can judge the success of a man by the things that he reacts off of." And I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's something like that. You can judge the success of a man by the things that bother him. There you go, that's how you said. And when I say success, I don't mean just money. Um, I just mean, I mean like, you know, happiness, being happy. Because, I mean, that is the ultimate success, is, you know, because there are a lot of guys out there who are super rich, you know, and aren't very happy, or their health sucks. Um, but to be a successful guy and to be happy, you know, that's, it's something that most guys can't even achieve that you know so um, so yeah don't react off of stuff like that anymore you know, stop reacting off of stuff like that especially if you're gonna date hot chicks believe me there's constantly gonna be guys out there trying to take her from you there's constantly gonna be other guys out there trying to have sex with her um, so it's not like you know you just get this hot chick and you live happily ever after uh, this is why I'm stressing how important it is to go beyond just spinning attraction and get to that point where you reach polarity as a man okay where you reach polarity because once you have polarity 
I mean, you will be the one trying to get rid of these chicks as opposed to the other way, as opposed to the other way around, because you're going to have so many options and you're going to have like so many girls wanting to be with you and wanting to become your girlfriend and want to have your babies because they know intuitively, instinctively, how rare it is to find a guy who has achieved that polarity, who is centered in his own energy, who is strong, you know, who's not going to react to every, every guy who checks her out or who's not going to react to every guy who, you know, tries to get in her pants. And by the fact that you're not reacting and, you know, you're not like, you know, you're not, it's, it can't, it's not, you know, what other people are doing, it's not pulling you into their reality. When she sees that you're just so centered in yourself, she's not going to want to be with other guys. She's not going to want to cheat on you. She's not going to want to go out with her girlfriends on Friday, Saturday night and go clubbing without you, like I see with a lot of scrubs, you know? Um, she's going to want to be with you 24-7. And that is the reward of achieving your polarity as a man. You know, aside from other things, obviously, you could use this stuff in everyday uh, social interactions. That's why I say, like, I always say pickup is a super skill. It's like, I mean, it's a super power because you have, like, this super power that most guys don't have. Most people don't have. But spinning attraction, you know, like I said, if you're new to this, you want to get good with spinning attraction first. Okay, you want to get good at that. You want to be able to spin attraction. But... Eventually, you do want to achieve your polarity as a man. You want to achieve your your masculine polarity, where you can attract girls uh, just being centered within yourself. And and really, until you've achieved that polarity, if all you can do is spin attraction, uh, you're going to be where I was like 15 years ago, where I was getting good at this, and I was, uh, you know, and I realized that girls were super responsive to to, to when you're just happy, fun, and you're you're. Uh, you're amping their state. Um, I was able to spin attraction, but once I got into a relationship with those girls, uh, I would get jealous. I mean, I would get super jealous. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I hated it when other guys would check them out and other guys would uh, you know, try to get their numbers and they had other guys at work trying to hit on them. I mean, it just used to piss me off. And the reason why I did was because I hadn't achieved my polarity as a man. Now, obviously, I was still in my 20s, too. I was still in my early 20s, mid-20s. I haven't. Ach I hadn't achieved that polarity. So uh, there were a lot of things with my myself that I was still uncomfortable about, that I, haven't, I hadn't fixed yet, you know? Um, so I, even though I was able to get a lot of hot girls, a lot of my friends would comment on that. They're like, why do you care? You can just get another one, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know, yeah, why do I care? But I still did. You know, I still did because I hadn't re achieved my polarity as a man. And and a lot of those girlfriends I had back then that I got jealous over that were hot, um, they're not even in my life anymore, you know, because the breakups were so bad. It was like, I got to stop seeing that. He's, he's crazy. He's just out of his mind. I can't deal with him anymore. And it was like seriously over where... Uh, where once I started dating girls where I, like once I achieved my polarity and I was dating, like all the girls I've dated since I achieved my polarity, let's put it that way, are still in my life, you know? So they're still in my life, still attracted to me. Uh, I can see them when I want, I can call them when I want. And, you know, and we had good relationships. We had, you know, we had great times together. You know, just because we're not together doesn't mean that you know you can't be friends. But obviously, when you're, when you haven't achieved your polarity and you're dating a hot chick, um, you know it's really, really hard not to get jealous. It's hard not to uh, start doing wussy ass things that will turn her off. And I can think back even on those, uh, like when I had those girlfriends I'm talking about before I achieved my polarity. Um, you know, they're just little, little things that I would do, that would kind of just communicate to the girl like this guy isn't centered within himself you know yeah he's fun yeah he's able to you know make me feel certain emotions but there's little things he does every you know every now and then that are just a dead giveaway that this guy's not uh has not achieved his uh you know his uh his polarity as a man he's still he's still uncentered so uh, so just really take note of that like how vital it is to 
that you not only learn how to spin attraction with girls, but more importantly, how to uh, achieve your polarity as a man, where you're not, where you're unreactive to all the chaos that's going on around you, and you could just stay centered and you could stay focused, and um, and you can stay on your path as a man. Okay, because that's another thing that uh, guys who haven't achieved their polarity, when they're in these relationships with a hot chick, you know, they suddenly forget about all their dreams. They suddenly forget about their purpose in life. Um, they, they suddenly forget about their path in life and they just start like listening to a girl and falling into her trap, you know, because uh, as I've said in my training course, the 33 Secrets, it's any relationship you're in, the girl instinctively uh, wants to pull you off of that path, off of your path in life, off your, you know, whatever, whatever path you're on in life, whatever your goals are. Um, she's going to try to take you off of that. Like, say you want to be an actor, right? And you're going to all these acting classes and you're, uh, you know, you're uh, going on all these auditions. Uh, if you start dating this girl, she might like that at first and that might have been even the reason why she became attracted to you. It's like, wow, this guy seems exciting. Sounds like he's, you know, he's heading places. But once she gets in a relationship with you, she's going to try to get you to stop doing that, you know, um, because she somewhere deep inside of her, she feels like if you become successful, that she will lose you. All right. Um, and the funny thing is, is once you go off of your path thinking that you're going to do whatever it takes to please her, that's the moment that she loses all attraction for you, she loses interest in you, and she either starts cheating on you, leaves you, or both. Okay, where when you achieve your polarity as a man, you will stay on your path, and you don't care what kind of threats you get from her. She might be like, I'm gonna go like cheat on you, or I'm gonna leave you, I don't wanna be in a relationship like this. She could throw out all those tests, and if you've achieved your polarity, you'll be like, I'm sorry to hear that, you know, but I'm not, li I'm not, I'm not giving up what I need to do in this life uh, just to please you, you know? You could say, I hope you stay. I like you. I think we have a good time together, but I'm not going to deal with this attitude. I'm not going to deal with this nonsense, all right? And you'll be able to talk like that because you've achieved your polarity and you're not doing it because you're trying to get her to stay you're trying to scare her into staying which is a lot what a lot of guys who haven't achieved their polarity do they'll kind of um, almost sink to her level where they'll like threaten her if she leaves you know uh, you're never gonna see me again or in some extreme cases like oh if you leave you know I'm gonna kill myself you know like some guys do like they threaten they're gonna have to commit suicide and stuff uh, those are guys who are, haven't achieved their polarity, you know? I mean, they're like little boys trapped in a grown man's body. And it's really sad in this day and age that, um, you know, we're so focused on empowering women, which is fine, right? I don't mind that, I don't mind that. But it's like, they wanna empower women while at the same time disempowering men. Okay, so they want to empower women and disempower men at the same time. At least that's what I see going on these days. And that's why a lot of guys that I see out there, it's really scary, man. You got a lot of guys who haven't achieved their polarity as a man. And, you know, some of these guys are, you know, late 20s, even in their 30s. And they're still out there acting like little boys. Um just super reactive, totally like mean mugging every dude who looks at him cross-eyed, like what, what, what's up? You know, doing all that. Um, that's something you do when you haven't achieved your polarity as a man. You know, you're just super duper reactive. All right, so, uh, so I'm gonna end this here and uh, just wanted to, you know, put that out there that uh, just wanna do this quick video that there are two ways to attract a girl. Okay, so take this with you. The two ways that you can attract uh, a beautiful girl is one, through spinning attraction, and two, through polarity. Okay, so spinning attraction is the thing you wanna learn first. All right? Um, and in order to learn how to spin attraction, you really gotta get over your nervousness. You gotta get over that approach anxiety. You gotta get over your fear of rejection. You know, understand it's just part of the game. 
okay? And when you can get over, you know, your all of those fears and those mental demons, uh, you'll be able to walk up to a girl and just be more focused on amping her state and amping your own state and just having fun with her, okay? And messing around with her and getting her attracted that way. That's what we call spinning attraction, right? Okay, and then when you get to a more advanced level, after you've spun attraction for a few years or a few months, depending on how quickly you learn, it took me a few years because, you know, I didn't learn that quickly. It took me a while. Uh, but when you get to a more advanced level and you've done enough approaches and uh, you're just super comfortable, super comfortable around all these uh, hot young women, you will come into a place of uh, polarity. And that's assuming you've got other crap in your life handled, okay? So it's not like you just go do pickup and then you reach polarity. Uh, you have to handle the other stuff in your life. You know, your finances, uh, your physical health, uh, you know, your spiritual, your spirituality, if you're spiritual like I am. Uh, so you gotta handle these things in your life so that you're, you're centered as a man, right? So you gotta be handling your stuff in life, you gotta be, you know, you gotta become a man. You gotta be responsible. You go. You have to be your own parent. You know, you're not living at your parents' house anymore. And I see a lot of guys, you know, in their 30s and 40s, even their 50s, who are still, you know, relying on their parents' advice or still turning to their parents for help. And it's like, dude, you gotta learn how to parent yourself. You know, you gotta learn how to parent yourself. And it's like with my parents. Um, you know, I stopped turning to them for advice a long time ago, probably when I was in my late teens. Um, I stopped asking them for advice because I was like, I need to figure this out on my own. Maybe it's not the right way, but I'll figure out if it's the right way. And uh, I'll just adjust and make, uh, make adjustments where I need to when I'm wrong. But uh, the biggest thing that I learned was to parent myself and to become my own parent. And that's what you need to do. You need to become your own parent. You know, especially if you want to achieve that polarity because a guy with polarity is self-reliant okay self-reliant in everything self-reliant and he doesn't need women uh, in order to feel complete he doesn't need to be driving a uh, you know Ferrari or Lamborghini in order to feel complete he doesn't need to uh, um, you know brag in order to feel complete uh, so these are all the steps to achieving your polarity you know you have to become a man you have to become an alpha male. Okay, when I say alpha male, you know my definition of it. Alpha male is not the loud guy, the loud, obnoxious guy who wants to intimidate everyone with his size. Because guys who do that, in my mind, are beta. You know, those are guys who haven't achieved their polarity either. So you don't want to be one of those guys. All right? You want to be the real deal. So, until next time, this is M. And as always, enjoyed what you just learned in this new secret training video then don't forget to add yourself to my priority waiting list for my full training course the 33 secrets to dating beautiful women where you can learn my top 33 secrets for dating only the hottest youngest and most beautiful looking women in the world eight nine to ten all you need to do is click the link above pop in your name and email and you're all set it takes two seconds so do that right now and I'll see you in my next training video.